according to my last video we set up the dotnet code on visual studio and using ubuntu and uh, already we seen that how to set up a, a web application using template so my web application is there which is created from the template and now i want to run this application from this visual studio code terminal so for this i will open the terminal using this particular command dot net run so this particular terminal is completely behaving like my terminal what i have with my ubuntu so as we can see the website is up and running and i can able to see this particular url so copy this url and paste it on your browser so we can see the application is up and running and it's uh, looking very good the all series is running very proper and the bootstrap is also working fine to refresh it press ctrl shift and r till this point the application is running good and fine but let's see what happened if i stop this application here so as you can see i stopped my application there so it is stopped the web server and the web server is stopped it means i'm not able to see the page the another exercise what i am going to do is i want to debug this application from my local that is from my visual studio code for this particular thing i go to the debug option and on the debug option i have two different option one is dotnet core launch web and another one is dotnet core attach so for this particular option we will discuss later first we will look the first option dotnet core launch web so i selected dotnet core launch web and i run this particular website from my debugger console so we can see we have a debugger window over here on visual studio code and the site is going to be up and running so once the site is up and running we can see this looks very ugly because the css is not yet loaded even though the bootstrap is not yet loaded so why it is not yet loaded that we need to see in this video the root cause and the solution to run this website or with the debug mode properly as this website is run with the server mode so for this particular thing let's stop this debugging window and let's find the root cause so the root cause is when i see my web config file it is nothing it is showing me in which environment this particular website is running to check the environment i need to open my launch json which is under the folder dot vs code in this launch json it is clearly mentioned the environment and the environment is development so this is the first thing so when my envi environment is development so which particular css is going to be load and from where to see this we need to open bower c file and under this bower file it is mentioned that there is one directory called www.root/lib but right now under the www.root folder we don't have this particular library which is called lib now why this directory is mentioned here to see this we need to go under the view and in mvc application all my view initially belongs to 
layout.cshtml so I need to open this layout layout.cshtml and here this is the section which is mentioned this if my environment is development then I need to load the bootstrap from the location where my website is hosted there one folder called lib and under that lib we have one more folder called bootstrap and from that bootstrap I need to load the boot instead of dot CSS and this particular path is not exist when I run my application from my debug window to solve this issue there is some steps that we need to perform solve the issue just open a terminal and under the terminal first you need to check whether you have installed all this option or not which is npm node.js bower and git to check we have npm installed on our machine or not just press this command npm and if you are able to see the instructions like they call like this or the options like this it means the npm is installed on, on your machine otherwise you need to install install the node from this particular command just keep in mind we need to install this particular environment on our local the node is installed the second thing I need to install the bower so to install the bower just type the command install minus G Yeah, so bower is also done. So once the bower is installed, we need to install the git. So to install the git again, so now everything is installed. We need to include the bootstrap into our project so in order to include the bootstrap in a into our project what we need to do first we need to go in our extension window and in our extension window we need to search bootstrap and we need to make it sure that bootstrap 3 snipped is installed with our web application so in my case it is already installed if it is not installed then it will come like this and you need to install it from yourself so once you've done this step the next step is you need to install the bootstrap with your web application to install the proper bootstrap with your application now here it is saying that it is unable to find a suitable version for bootstrap here for safer side I'll install the bootstrap version 3.3.6 so my answer is 1 and then I'll press enter and we can see there is one library created which is called www root slash lib for one is for jQuery and one is for bootstrap which is not earlier available now again open the folder view of your project so once you open the folder view of your project go to this particular path and now you can see you will find this particular library lib and under the lib we have this bootstrap so this is exactly the 
path which my layout HTML development environment required to run this particular application on debug mode properly. Now again, I run this application using the debug window on the debug mode. And this time we can see this particular website is loaded exactly the same as it was loading without my debugging console. So by this way, we can install the bootstrap and we can create this particular path in our local for the development environment to load the bootstrap and the required CSS. Now we have another option which is called .NET Attach. To do this, let's do a simple thing. I'll put one breakpoint into my account login controller. If my website comes, it means my website is up and running. And the second thing, I need to attach the debugger. To do this, again go to the debug option and now in place of first option, select the second option which is .NET Core Attach. So once you select this option, .NET Core Attach and once you run this particular debugging option, it will prompt you to which particular debugger we need to attach this debugger or which particular instance we need to attach this debugger so i selected the first instance because i know my website is running from this particular location okay so this particular location is attached to my visual studio code this is the exact similar way as we are doing on visual studio using Control alt p or attach process now my process is attached. Now when I click on the login window, I can see my website is attached with this debugger and now I am able to debug it from the local using the attach process 